Well, good morning from yet another sunny Texas morning. And it's an exciting day today for two reasons. One, today is the 15th of October. So I tell everybody every year on the 16th of October is when the temperature changes. So I am hoping <laughs> my prediction is right because I'm about done with this thousand degrees. The other reason it's an exciting day is because we're just about finished with this. This is a, um, a very unique and bespoke tailor-made, um, it actually started life as a Kensington floor plan, um, but you know, like everything we do, we want to create your home, not have you buy one of ours. So we've kind of morphed this into four bedroom, one and a half story palace is probably the only word I can find for it. So um, the client knew exactly what they wanted and we were happy to give them exactly what they wanted. Let's go in and have a look. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, goodness. <laughs> I promised you a palace and I think we've kind of delivered on it. What an incredible space. The first thing that, that comes to mind here is how are you going to find the furniture to be able to fill this enormous cabin? It's massive in here. It's beautiful. You know, some of the things you notice straight away is you can see the symmetry both when you look at this kitchen here, when you look at this living space here. They've done some custom built-ins that they wanted to do, which really kind of accentuates that. And then also with the openings on each side and maintaining that kind of eight foot height, it's very important. But I'm gonna start in the kitchen. I'm, I'm kind of under the balance point now, which is, you know, kind of the casual dining. It makes a really nice uh, centerpiece when you walk in, when, you, when you're in the kitchen, when you're in the living room and wonderful delineation. But you still have the concept of the kitchen table here in the kitchen with this pagan-sized island. So let's, let's go in the kitchen and do some rituals, I think. Well, this is, <laughs> this is quite a slab of, uh, of island here. It's beautiful as well, absolutely beautiful. And it really does kind of accentuate and bring together a lot of the elements of this kitchen. So you, you have the cleaning station, but as usual, have this beautiful view from the cleaning station out, because you spend so much time here. And then behind me, you can see they've elected to go with the monogram range top, which is nothing short of beautiful. Absolutely stunning. And, and then, you know, the simplicity and the elegance of this symmetry that, that kind of stands behind me, also with these lights in front. We have the Advantium, which is a really good oven and a microwave. And it really is good at both. It's convection oven and microwave, depending on whether you are, you know, like with a lot of our homes, we, we work with people who have kids that have left the home, but may come back or like me, majority have left the home, one is, you know, 16, so he's rarely around. So very often um, when I'm cooking, it's for one or two people as opposed to for seven or eight. But come, you know, big holidays and things, we could have 20. And this space really allows that. But the facilities and the function of the facilities have to match. Of course, I'm a huge fan of this huge, beautiful fridge freezer mainly because I have one of these. So thank you very much Frigidaire for um, developing this um, wonderful piece of machinery at a very reasonable price point as well. And then we have this incredible look at these beautiful posts. I mean, the kitchen just maintains the, the elegance and the opulence of the whole home. Uh, from the backsplash, through the lighting, through the considered details, appliances, form, function, but the aesthetics are just stunning. So I'm gonna go and check out the pantry. So as with most things, pantry, pantry lights come on when you walk in, um, they're motion detected. But with our pantries, obviously we like to have these deeper spaces so that you're able to have good storage for the, the depth of water bottles, um, larger appliances, 
steaming pots, those sorts of things. And then above, you have these traditionally smaller depths, so about a foot deep for uh, food items and storage and things like that. You know, I get so spoiled walking through these places because I'm so used to seeing it, but I know that a lot of people out there don't have pantries like this. It makes such a huge difference being able to keep appliances in a space that's not the kitchen. Massive difference. And so the storage facilities, the ability not to trip over bottles of water, the ability just to be able to have organization in the pantry um, makes a massive difference. I think there's studies done on the relationship between stress and anxiety and neatness and organization and all of that. I'm probably not the poster child of that myself, but that's why we give you a space like this so that you can uh, get yourself organized and make things beautiful. Let's go and see what else we can find. So then when you leave this enormous space in the kitchen, you have this casual dining. You also have this huge, <laughs> huge living room. And you know, it's always a thing when you speak to people about living room sizes and you explain how big they are, and they never really understand on paper until you're in the space. And then the, the usual reaction is, oh wow, this is much bigger than I thought. But space is not wasted. And I hear this a lot. I hear people say that's a waste of space. But the whole reason that we want to live on land is because we want the space. And so the elegance and the opulence here is accentuated by the space. So, you know, without me doing this kind of run around the whole space kind of thing. I mean, realistically, you know, having a, a nice sofa here, a nice sofa here, a couple of, you know, high back, wing back chairs here, a um, couple of tables or one large table here, you know, you still will have beautiful walkways either side to be able to go through. And a lot of people skip this. A lot of people when they're designing a home, a lot of builders particularly, will reduce um, certain areas and force you to go through the living room. We have created walkways and then opened them so that the hallway isn't actually a hallway. It's all opened, so you get this flood of natural light coming in from this side, but also because we have this space here to be able to walk down, and it's, and it's, a, it's a saved and delineated space, like we worked out the math. And so you have this as well. So this whole area, no matter where you look, you just have this beautiful view of the outdoors. Um, I'm going to go into the principal suite and let's see what we can find in here. <laughs> so this is quite the owner's bathroom. Um, beautiful, beautiful finishing, simple, elegant, tasteful, huge. I mean, I want an owner's suite to feel like an owner's suite. If you go to the best hotels in the world, they will give you a suite and that suite will feel pretty sweet. So this needs to give you that same emotion whenever you walk in to start your day, end your day, midway through the day. The ability to come in somewhere like this and just feel space, feel rest, feel calm, and be surrounded by, you know, your taste, your beauty. <sighs> it's phenomenal. This is such a beautiful place, and that shower is massive. But I wanna walk in here to the owner's uh, closet because this is quite the finish out as well. <sighs> well, Owner's closet, why am I shutting the door? Owner's closet slash living room slash bedroom slash ping pong room. I mean, this is enormous, you know? It's enormous in here. And you can have some wonderful furniture here. You can have a table here. You can put an island in here. You can have like a nice kind of circular tufted ottoman in here. There's so much you can do with it. And the finish out is spectacular. I am not going to be showing my wife this anytime soon. It's like the gift that keeps on giving this. Wow. Again, you're just hit with the enormity of everything. 
you know, just, I mean, this is the, the owner's bedroom. This is the principal bedroom. You know, what a retreat. Just surrounded by this beautiful, like, lush, fertile forest. But when the bed is in here, the bed's probably only gonna come to about here. So all of this behind me is, you, I mean, you have this beautiful, look at this bump out as well. And I really like the bump outs when they're done like this because you, you're able to really kind of play around with it. You don't just have to have two chairs and a table. Like you can have a chaise longue, you can have a chair, you can have a sofa, you can have a sofa in a reading area. There's so much you can do with this when it's not kind of um, semi-circular. I do like semi-circular as well. I mean, if I had to pick a favorite, I don't know that I could. Um, but if you're gonna do it, I guess, go big or go home, right? You do live in Texas. So this gives you so much versatility. So if you wanna come in here and just watch the TV, you can do it. I mean, that's the space this gives you. Be wasted on me though, because it would just be another place for me to, it's like a treadmill. It's designed for me to throw my clothes onto. So merging from the owner's retreat and coming through this majestic living room again, you can see the separation, kind of the principle of zonality. So there's a good amount of privacy, solitude and quiet back there, but there's separation here as well. So this is, this is one of the guest bedrooms. And um, so that it has its own entrance, it has its own private vestibule, so that whether it's a um, child coming back for Thanksgiving or something, or a, a friend of yours from out of town. They don't feel like they're kind of forced into everything. They get some nice privacy and separation as well. It adds to their comfort. You've got this gorgeous linen here, and then the bedroom back here. It's, it really does feel like you've got the four corners in this home, you know, um, all built around this beautiful central family area. And, and back through here, we've got uh, a bit more of a surprise. Uh, let's go and find the ooh, lovely stairs, the flex room. So here we are in, you know, the flex space, you know, the TV room. And this is a really interesting space because you've got as you come from the kitchen back through to this still uh, a designated entertainment space, you pass by what would be the powder bath, but it's actually also the pool bath. So it's really close to the living space. It's really close to this, which will be the TV room. It's also really close to the outdoors access um, for a, a pool bath as well. So it kind of hits a, a multitude of functionality there. But this space, I can see this with some beautiful, you know, have like an L-shaped uh, sofa through here, a couple of chairs, uh, maybe a bar, a freestanding bar back here. And then you have access in here to storage and AV. So it's a big space that you can make as intimate as you want to, whether it's just you and your significant other sitting down watching a movie together, or whether you have everyone in on Thanksgiving and it's that time where you're gonna sleep off, I mean, watch football. Watch football. So I really want to accentuate here. I mean, what, what's the pun? Here I am coming out of the understairs closet. Um, but all joking aside, Using space and opening space up, like where do you store your luggage? Where do you store your winter stuff? Where do you store your vacuums? Where do you store all of these things that you know you might have once a week use, twice a week use, or four time a year use? And just using this space when you have stairs like this and just letting it come through and come back and follow the stairs around underneath really gives you some opulent storage without having to go up into the attic. Um, oh, I just want to show you the, the laundry as well. And as you come into the laundry, you have 
obviously the garage access and space here for you know your mud so you can hang coats and have a bench sit take off shoes everything else but the thing about the laundry is and, and I think it's just really a function of being able to build on land where you don't have your neighbor right next to you is you're able to have wherever you go in this house even in the laundry this beautiful natural light coming in in this view of the treetops I don't know it just there's no way you can go where you can't enhance you know your mood so um, love this place right what's next oh stairs I love these treads As you can tell, I don't go up a lot of stairs in my life. But this is a really cool space. You know, you've got two children that can be up here, they're older kids, they can be up here by themselves. One here, one here, both of them with en suites, configured it all out. And also so that the sound up here doesn't in any way impact on living downstairs. So it's kind of, you know, Treehouse isn't the right word, but it's it's just this way to give people independence when they are at the stage of their lives where they start craving it, um, without any of the noise that comes with you know production built patterns. So let's have a look at the bedrooms while we're up here. Sorry, I had to go and get my shoes, but... Um, so you've got a really interesting space here because you have the best of both worlds. You know, like I said, tomorrow's October the 16th. I always tell people October the 16th is where the weather changes in Texas. So here is this lovely covered space with this huge fan, outdoor kitchen. I mean, it, it's set up, you're ready to go. So when the sun is burning, you know, in July, in August, in May, frankly, half the year. You're able to get out, get some shade, get airflow and feel cool. But what's interesting here is we also have this other space. And this for me is like really interesting because now we're gonna be able to, hopefully as of tomorrow, to stand out here, to sit out here, to have a fire pit maybe, or to enjoy that beautiful starry night or the cooler mornings or the cooler afternoons. And as you get closer into um, Christmas and things like that, you know, the, the cool of the whole day. But also for me, I can see how people could use this space for families to play games, you know, and just to be able to set up where you're able to keep an eye on the grandkids and things like that. So it's a really functional use of space Obviously, in my family, I wouldn't advise about pickleball here because there will be a broken window or two, but it's a really interesting space and I'm interested to see what they do with it. I think really, when you look at this house, it's set up for whether you have two people, one person, 20 people, it gives you the space, it gives you the intimacy, it gives you the functionality, it gives you the zones, it gives you all of the areas that you can go and use even out here when you're just playing games with you know, grandkids or each other. But that is the tour. So thank you very much for coming and, uh, and I'll see you on the next one.